Hey everybody, I'm about to show you what I'm about to plank with tonight. It's about midnight here in Ontario, Aurelia that is. And uh, I decided, because I was so envious of my friends uh, David Struther, Linda Jordan, and Rune Koble with all their awesome uh, shooting videos that I just had to get out and shoot now mind you i was delayed because i helped a senior friend of mine with her uh her cable and phone bill so by the time i get over here to where i'm shooting it was around midnight but i didn't let that stop me so this is what we're going to show one of the things this is the uh it's a replica of a mossberg uh sawed up um not a mossberg i'm sorry this this is the Mossberg Remington M870. Now I had an A, uh, an S and T. I had five of them, and they broke down. So I decided because I did love the sawed off sink pump, single uh, shot airsoft one, that I I didn't want to give it up because it was so much fun. Now it it has no sights. I I don't know if you can see this. There's no sights. But the uh, the S and T was very accurate. Uh, I this might be comparable because I I'm filming this after I have done some shooting with it, and maybe I'll have to adjust the hop up. This, unlike my other one, has a 40 round mag. You just push them in like this, and it goes up and clips. Now. Epic.com said that the mags off my S and T would fit. And when I went to put them in, they were too tight, so I did some dremeling, but pardon my language, uh, you know, it was still so tight when I put it in, I'd almost have to use a, well, not almost, I had to use a screwdriver to pull out the smaller mags, so I didn't want to totally screw it up for this mag, so now I have three S&T mags, and I guess I'm going to have to buy a full-length S&T, anyway. Over to this side of the table, the Mossberg Chainsaw. When I got this, I swore to myself I would never buy an air gun that is see-through. That's, that's like a kid's toy. But then I saw this thing and it goes, oh yeah, it, it, it's... It, it, oh, <laughs> it's, it, it's BS. It, it's not a... Uh, it's no fun. But then when I looked... A video is on YouTube of the real Mossberg chainsaw and how much fun it was to shoot. This thing's only running about 250 FPS. Uh, as you can see, because of the uh, of the rail here, you can't see the front sight, so that's totally useless. This is uh, just a quick release removable thing if you want to put red dots or lights but i mean at 250 feet who wants to so I, I i took it off and i taped some things off and i painted this was see-through but this is called for any of you who are wondering it's called a breacher uh uh breacher anyway it's a breacher what it is it's designed with this jagged edge and these holes so that a shotgun can go against the door and lock and you fire it to blow, blow off the lock or the doorknob. And be, and it lets the gases out so that the barrel doesn't bounce off the uh, the door. Like I said, this thing here. Well, yeah, it's, it's trying to send me things. Anyway. This thing here holds approximately. The, the mag is approximately 12 to 13. I just counted earlier, but back here, uh, where is it? It is, I know it's back here. Oh, up here. You flip this little door open, and you can put about 280 in. So it, it, it has, you, you have your magazine, plus you have a hopper. It's similar to my uh, uh, Daisy 340 replica. Beretta 92 or M9. Now, down here, I'm hoping with one hand I can show you a bunch of this. 
Uh, later in the video, you'll hear me talk about these green BBs, uh, which made it very hard for shooting tonight. What these green BBs are, are garbage. They're point twos. They came with a Mossberg. Uh, this came with some crappy BBs. So because this is green gas and very low powered, I thought I'd use up the garbage in it. Uh, these mags are only seven, uh, uh, seven rounds per mag in green gas, although you get a lot. Now, I tried this, you know, it won't, it won't, uh, show you, but this does say caliber 25. This is a replica of a, uh, Colt 25 ACP. Now, I'm hoping I can do this with one hand. What it does, and now without this flange, this does look like the Colt one, but I, if you turn it like that, pull and turn it like this, I think I can do it with one hand. There we go. Barrel comes out. Now if I release this, yeah, I don't want to lose it, lose the spring. There you go. Tear down and like this can come out too. Now, there's no way in hell I can put it back with one hand. Anyway, uh, I hope this has piqued your interest to uh, go further into the video past the intro and uh, see some of uh, the rest of it. It's fun. I'm actually doing this intro at about 2.30 in the morning and the rest was filmed around midnight or two o'clock eh, because I've been working in my storage unit. So, if you don't want to go further than this, all I gotta say is keep having fun, keep smiling, keep blinking, keep safe, and keep shooting. Because if you watch the rest of the video, you'll see no matter what time of day, you can uh, plink and shoot. And this especially goes out to my good video friends, Linda Jordan, David Streller, and Rune Kobel, the rebel guy from Norway. As you can see it's quite dark out here what happened is I wanted to come over to my storage unit and do some plinking but I uh, ended up helping a seniors lady uh, I stopped by her house and helped her uh, with her cable and phone bill now normally I set my target over here but as you can see it's quite dark tonight well yeah it's night uh, even though there is a moonlit thing uh, sky but uh, and it was probably not shown. I, I usually sit inside my unit there. But what I tried to do tonight, initially the thing is, is I couldn't get a sight picture over there in the dark. So I tried the thing with holding the can, but it was over here by the trailer. And because it was dark, I, I wasn't getting a sight picture. And even when I moved the can here, I had a hard time because... Uh, I'm not shooting with high uh, FPS guns tonight. This Tonight is a fun plinking night. So what I decided to do after doing some organizing, I, I came across this can, bigger target, and the nice thing is when it hits, well that didn't sound right, but it, it gives me, uh, uh, the light reflects off it, and when I hit it I get a better response. Now, what I am shooting is this Chainsaw Mossberg. These are all airsofts tonight. Uh, this thing is like super weak. I think it's maybe only 250 FPS, but by uh, how you rack it is the reason they call it a chainsaw is because of this handle. You pull back and rack, and it's it's fun. Tonight I'm shooting white. Uh, I think uh, actually I I don't know if I'm shooting two. I think I'm shooting twos in that 0.2 grams. And, and the thing is, is because of the light and this thing being so inaccurate, usually you have to trace it with your eyes. 
and, and see where you're going. So I'm shooting roughly uh, 25 feet tonight. Now this is the replacement gun that I that I had to get. I had an S and T shotgun. You may have seen that in some of the other ones, with a flush uh, uh, 22, 21. All depends who you're talking to. Uh, mag, but uh, I had five of them, five of them, and they every single one broke about the second or third time out. So I bought the A and K model, which doesn't have all the cool printing on it. And supposedly the mags were supposed to fit, but they don't. So I, I'm contacting Evic, uh, or Evike, whatever you want to call it, dot com, and they're going to check into that because I was going by what they said. So I have three mags that don't fit this gun. What will I do? Well, there is a full length ST. Oh, I didn't say that. And then there's this little thing, which is a blast. Uh, it, it is... Uh, Replica of a Colt 25 Junior. Look at this. Look at this. I wonder when I actually have I bought For my Derringer, which I haven't got home an ankle holster and this thing fits in it perfect. I'm negotiating new uh, New grips for this. I think I'm going to do replica Burlwood with a Celtic cross uh, Don't ask me the price because you guys are going to say I'm foolish because it it costs almost twice as much as what this gun does but when you're a replica holic it's fun if you look look on Facebook and you will see or look even do a Google search and you will see that these things tear down just like the regular 22s the hammer is back because right now I have some uh, the mag is loaded I have two mags like with all my guns I always try to do a double load except for this this has uh, well the other mags that work this is a 40 round mag this is about a uh, I think it's an eight or nine ma round mag, but then it has uh, a hopper in it. So anyway, you know, I wasn't going to film tonight, but I wanted to show you like dark as shit. Let's see. There's the art. That's the full moon. Yeah. <laughs> no, anyway, uh, you can get out. You can do things. You know, it's like I always when I first got this, I want this uh, joke with everybody it says, you know, this is for when you want to do a little shooting. Uh, it's really cool. Here's your safety. But also, if you rack the slide back and put it there, then you pull it out, twist the barrel, and it looks, other than this little extension here, it looks identical to, uh, to a Colt Junior 25 ACP. And actually, on the bottom, I don't know if we can focus on that, but right there it does say Caliber 25. So, this is Doc. I haven't made a video. I'm not going to make this one fancy. Just saying hi to everybody and uh, doing some minor plinking. Uh, one of the major issues with this is when I got this, uh, it was one of the things that came like, and this one too, they come with cheap ass airsoft BBs that you really, most people throw in the garbage. But instead what I thought, well, as I'd shoot the ones from this and here, but they're green. So at night, you don't see shit. So, keep smiling, keep having fun, keep safe, and uh, bang, bang, keep shooting. Honest, it's, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Talk to y'all later. Have a good fun time, and keep shooting. Hey, hey, I'm going to, um, Try to shoot all three of the guns and let you people hear that I'm doing it. I'm doing, like I said, about 25 feet. Lighting ain't that good, but let's have some fun. Okay, this is what I'm going to try it with first. Oh, 
up to the right. Yeah, that's it. You gotta remember the Mossberg has no sights and I'm shooting it about hip level. Okay, this is the Remington 870 by A and K. It has no sights, but doggone, I was doing better before. Second here. Shamed of myself. Come on, Doc. If it was daylight, I could do this. For the S and T, I'd hit this every gold darn time. Come on, give me another hit here. Yeah, we still good ammo. I think it was dark or something. Woohoo! I'm gonna call that a good one. Considering that it's uh like I said, this neither one of these shotguns have sights. Mossberg does, but you can't do it. Now, oh, we've got the sock. Whoops, here we go. Got to remind you, this is what I was shooting just now. No sights, as you can see. Now, let's play with this. These things only have seven round mags, so let's hopefully I can see something and show you that. Uh, this is hard to get a sight picture with. Take the safety off. I guess about 20 feet. Oh, shooting a little high. I think I hit that. I know I hit that. That. Oh, that one went a little high. Maybe this little baby likes to go further. I think that's it. Yep. Hey! Keep smiling. Keep having fun. Keep shooting. Keep in focus. And uh, keep safe. You'll see that no matter what time of day, or where you're at, you can squeeze in a little plinkin' if you got a little gun and a little patience.